Hello, my name is Garth 32 and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. I have just finished setting up all our large processing factories. I did just spend the extra resources to do the, the auto taping maintenance hatches. I'm going to try to do that from now on for the most part. Sometimes I just have the other ones in stock, so I just grab them. But that uh, that just makes me not have to worry about maintenance, obviously. Uh, basically, I have just set up a ME chest because we're just doing items. There's no need to do items and fluids. So that was the reason I was doing the disk drives. And we're just keeping this stocked. Now, the cool thing is you can actually just use one lens for both, I, th I think, actually. Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't really noticed if they all run. Uh, I haven't done huge amounts yet. I was just kind of testing it out a little bit. Yeah, so they keep it stocked in the middle, which supplies all four. And then I have a few output buses that are connected directly to the main network. This is the main network, and then we have that going into the subnet. Now, one issue I noticed is when I put the interface onto another interface, the Lapitron was actually being limited because it can only do nine, and they don't stack the, the Lapitron crystals. So it was only doing nine at once, so it was quite slow. So I actually switched it to a super buffer, which has 256 in there. And then that pushes them into the interface. I don't know if there's any other way to get items from the interface directly into a subnet without going through an interface. I can't, can't really think of a faster way to do it. So we are limited by the nine slots. And we can see that just by doing that. Actually, let me do more. Do 5,000, because we have a lot of the crystals. So we can see it only puts in 256, and it's being like limited, which is a bit annoying. And I can't tell if it's just <laughs> if these aren't working because we're sharing a sapphire lens or is it just it might be just processing that fast. That one isn't the super slow one. The SOC one is the slow. But yeah, as we can see, I don't don't really know any other way to put more than nine at a time into the network which is a bit annoying <clears throat> i could we could do something like we could split this one off this is the this is the issue the other ones aren't an issue because these all stack um it's these because the lapatron crystals don't stack is the issue i could maybe do like into a p2p thing i mean that was 5000 of them it just did 5000 of those chips and it that was only what like a minute so i mean it's not like super annoying but i was thinking i could maybe do split this one off into like a p2p uh p2p tunnel with items and then push the items directly in or something like that. If it becomes an issue, I will deal with it. But uh, I don't think it's that big of a problem. Um, and as we know, the reason I'm working on this is because I need four more ultimate batteries. Now, some of this stuff is a bit of an issue. Ender pearls we're crafting up, indium we're crafting up. Ruthenium I need to speed up, so I'll deal with that, actually. Let me deal with that. This I just don't keep more than 256 buckets on in the A system. 
And same with this. I don't keep more than 4,096. So those are fine. These are definitely a bit of an issue. But this is for four ultimate batteries. I'm not crafting all these up all at once. Um, but I will take a look at that. This is being, they are being crafted up. Um, we could probably speed these up. We need to. I forgot to look at, I was going to look at, um, I need this. All right. So I need like 42,000 of those. All right. I thought, I was pretty sure that was a large amount. Um, let's do, let's do 5,000 of these. Now these are, uh, like I said, a bit of an issue. At least they were before, because this recipe is much slower than the other ones. So I'm going to see what happens here. That might be... Yeah, I'm just kind of seeing where all the bottlenecks are. And I think this is... Here, now I don't know... Is... Are those green? I think forgetting where... There they are. So they do require, like, the... I could, I totally need to increase these to super buffers. Although that's not, that is actually being, it's actually not the, it's actually being gated by smelting up the stuff. Um, I need to replace all these with buffers though. Most of the time it's not an issue. Like it can't. Um, it's not crafting up fast enough to clear this out. Like, if this was, well, yeah, that's actually not an issue, to be honest. It doesn't matter if I have a thousand of these chips sitting here. It just seems a bit funny. We're using an LV input bus. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It's not like trying to pull more than a, three stacks of chips out. It's only doing 16 at a time. So that's actually not... It's not a, an issue, but um, what I was trying to say is maybe, can we do, like if I put two of those lenses, I'm actually going to test something really quick. Like, that's actually going to be annoying if I let that fill up. Hold on. Let's cancel this. Oh, let me... I need to fix this as well. I'm kind of curious if I do... Two different types of lenses. Would that cause an issue? Like... I don't think that's going to cause an issue. It It's not like... This does something else with the the blue lens, and the Lapatron only has the one thing as well. So, I mean, the recipes aren't going to conflict. I'm kind of curious what happens if I do. Let's just try this. Oh, also, if you're putting these Lapatron crystals in the stocking input buses, the one you drag it over, uh, it causes issues. I had to physically place it, the one that was getting dropped in the A system. Uh, it wasn't recognizing, dragging over. Yeah, so if I just throw that in there, that there. No, wrong one. Hold on. I'm getting myself confused. Yes. Okay. So this is this one. Does that actually work? It did work. 
Yeah, it is working. All right. So I guess this is okay. So now, like, I'm like putting. I've had these separated out for so long. Like putting even AOCs, we need tons of too. Like putting uh, two different color lenses on the same interface is just kind of like. Oh. <laughs> Messing with my head. I guess. I guess that'll work, right? Alright, let's do... Well, let's go back and do... What is it? Central CPU or whatever? Alright. This is what we were, like, waiting for. Yeah, let's do... Was that? Yeah, I guess it is working. Um, I it's just not putting it in fast enough for me to see if everything works. I kind of need to just wait for. I just don't know if having only one sapphire lens is messing it up. I just haven't been able to test it because I just need more in there. But okay, well that is working. Having multiple on there. I think the bottleneck, though, is... It really does feel like... Like, why is that going in there so slow? It's not showing up on there. I'm like, I don't think it's being bottlenecked by that. Oh, wait. That's being... <laughs> I'm, like, trying to remember. I'm like, where is that bead from? The... Oh, these are blessed furnace recipes. What am I talking about? Uh, I'm getting these three recipes mixed up. I think that was... Like, where are you crafting those up? Where's that recipe? I don't remember. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, okay. So, I actually... Maybe I should... Change that recipe to like 16 at a time or something like that. That seems to be a bit of a bottleneck. All right. Well, this is basically what you end up doing half the time. Just all, like optimizing your base. All right. We'll do 32 at a time. Also, I don't remember what the name of that interface was. Zero. I don't remember. All right. Well, let's speed that part of it up. I keep adding more and more. But I want to see if... That still feels like... Oh, it already... It already did it. Okay, so... That... Okay, it does look like that is causing issues. Yes, okay, so that answer is my question. Yes, it is causing issues with only having one... All four of these are on? Yeah, all four of these are on. Okay, so you do need a lens per thing. That does make sense. I, that's what I thought. I just hadn't uh, been able to put enough 
like a backlog of items in here. All right, so that does that. And then I guess we want, yeah, I want all of them. I was just thinking, like maybe I should have one side do one and one side do the other. Wait, I didn't put, does it cause a, yeah, now I'm like, I forgot to set that. One of these days we'll figure this out if it causes problems with only having the one. Maybe it doesn't cause issues. I just think I was derping. Okay, well, we got that up. And, uh... Seems to be working. Obviously, we have some optimizations that I need to do. Here and there. But that's... Went through that way, way quicker than it was before. That was a huge issue. Um, alright. So maybe... I'm just thinking, I'm like, maybe I should just... I think AOC was the other one we just needed thousands of. I'm just trying to think which ones should I put over... Over there. Yeah, AOCs, you need 8,000... 17,000. These HPIC wafers that are kind of an issue. Because you need so many, and this is actually a pretty slow recipe. Okay, um, I think I need to move our chemical reactor over now. Let me break all this down. We have an extra of those cool maintenance hatches as well. Because that is, we're not using our chemical reactor to its full potential. By having it like limited by power, and I just broke 100, and I just, oh well. <laughs> I, uh, I broke the pyrothium hatch, which had 128,000, or 128 buckets of pyrothium. I kind of wasted that. I was going to pull it out and put it in the A system, but I forgot to. All right, so the chemical corrector is 7 by 5, right? It's 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then power will go there. All right. And then we have access right there. Okay, so we are only pulling 16 amps. So if, like, all this stuff just turns on, that's 4, 8, 12, 16, mm, and this is 2. That's 18 amps. So if I add 4 more, we might be running into issues. Uh, I think I'm going to upgrade this dynamo. Yeah, we might as well upgrade that dynamo. Okay, let me move over our chemical reactor. Let me get that in maybe I could even I was gonna do a four amp energy hatch maybe I should do a 16 amp energy hatch on the chemical reactor. all right yeah let's like ramp this up quite a bit here all right we are back and I've gone ahead and set up our chemical reactor and this thing is just going through these PIC wafers in no time at all. So I am, I need 70,000 more of these. I'm doing half because we are a little bit short on indium. Um, so I'm working on that, but I'm doing 30,000 at once because this is one of the slowest things that we had. Um, but I did a thousand and I think it was doing like 200 and something every three seconds. It was like insanely fast. So uh, just gone ahead and set this up. Also, uh, it is a five by a nine, not a five by seven. So I'm kind of yeah, pushing it over the edge. Oh, well, I don't particularly like doing this. I kind of like having nice, neat contained platforms, but... I would rather have it 
pushed back a little bit than sticking out front. So I have this turned off and I'm just going to wait for some of the stuff to go in there and then we will check out how fast it goes. I did realize having it hit me when I was looking at recipes, uh, double lenses work fine for things like this. What they don't work fine for is wafers. So I needed the PIC wafers, which obviously is the, you know, the wafers in a thing, but the wafers have multiple recipes depending on the lens. So it wouldn't know which one to do if I did it that way. So I was thinking maybe one side do blue and one side do green. That would make things much easier. Then I would just remove all the blue recipes and the green recipes and move them directly over there, which would probably make sense. But the this isn't like the slowest part of the, the process. As we can see, like it goes pretty quick. To be honest um so i'm gonna kind of wait and see uh if we actually need all eight of these crafting up the socs maybe we can maybe we'll maybe we don't need four working on lapidron crystals and f or all eight working on lapidron crystals and all eight working on the those parts of it. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, since I'm doing parts of the ultimate battery, it's just gonna take me, you know, some testing to figure out what I prefer. Yeah, we do need a lot of those. But like I said, it's not, not really the bottleneck. It's other parts of the process that are the bottleneck. Even just like melting down the tens of thousands of vanadium gallium and all the silicon and everything. So, eh. it is fun watching the base just go crazy though. All right, it just started putting the items in the chemical reactor. It actually looks like the mixer is the bottleneck because it was mixing the 42,000 vanadium gallium uh, before it started mixing the indium gallium, which it needs for the things. So yeah, those PC PIC wafers are totally not the bottleneck on that thing. So I'm going to leave that for now and then we will see. But uh, there we go. We got one, like one and a half thousand. I just wanted to kind of leave it to the oh yeah it's doing what it's 200 or something at a time every three seconds now now obviously it is running at 30 million u per tick so yeah we're really pumping some power into it but you can see like we are really unlocking the potential of these chemical reactors Love it. Yeah, the mixer. The mixer is definitely the bottleneck. That's a macerator pulverizing the gallium dust down, but the, uh, yeah. Yeah. The mixer is the bottleneck now. Which is funny that it's the mixer now because the, the HPIC wafers used to be so, so long. All right. I have gotten that. It's quite a bit. Um, I'm going to wait for all that to finish crafting up, and then we'll craft up some more ultimate batteries. All right, another issue I found was the, the recipes. I should have changed those when I redid all the, the mega stuff. The problem was it is not putting, it wasn't putting the items in fast enough. So is that not... That might be getting blocked by the, I don't remember where I put it. This over here. Yep. 
That is not fast enough at all. Pull of those on hand. There we go. All right, cool. So yeah, it was only putting one in at a time, which was translated into it was turning on every about 50. So that was the bottleneck there. All right, that's good. It, it was taking a very long time to go about doing this. All right, I think that's about as fast as we're going to get that part of it. Now. Man, that just feels, <laughs> it feels pretty good. We're crafting up 30,000 of these like it's nothing now. Love it. All right, we are back and I am crafting up yet another ultimate battery. Just kind of seeing where our bottlenecks are. One kind of issue I've noticed is that the blast furnace has to smelt up all our ingots first, just the way it, it prioritizes that. So sometimes instead of crafting up like these engraved crystal chips, it is it's smelting up all the ingots first. So we can't like do the rest of the, you know, farther along in the processing line because it's waiting for the mega blast furnace there. Um, and right now, this part is actually waiting for the cutting machine. So this is also a little bit of a bottleneck. I'm not going to worry about it too much at this point, though. Because, I mean, we don't need to be crafting up ultimate batteries en masse. I'm just crafting up three more after this, so I'm not stressing out too much. That seems like it's turned off. It is turned off. All right. We have found a minor problem, and that might actually be... That might be since I have, if I have the Mega Blast running, if I have the chemical reactor running, if I have all those running, I don't think the lasers are actually transporting enough power. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually throw a battery buffer to just, just as a little bit of a safeguard. And I do think I have a battery buffer, don't we? A four slot. Yes, I do actually have a four slot battery buffer. Yeah, I think I'll do this. And then just as a, a little bit of a, a safeguard, because I don't really want to have that turn off. Uh, but yeah, I think we're actually kind of bottlenecking our... Our lasers now that I threw the chemical reactor that does 30 million we're just not I don't think we're transferring enough power anymore which is pretty crazy we have we're I think we transfer 134 million EU per tick and we're getting to the point where that's not enough <laughs> that's pretty crazy so okay I'm gonna let that run and then once I get these batteries I will I'll just throw down this battery buffer. Those are going to take a second, though. Also, actually, I think, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I'm going to craft up the last of our ultimate batteries. Uh, I have a bit of time. So this might be, when I come back, it might be like 24 hours in the future, real time, when we come back. But uh, yeah, let's get this crafted up today. All right, it is actually the next day in real time. Uh, so I did a little expanding of some things. I replaced, you know, like awakened pipes instead of the the old ones we were using. I upgraded a couple couple energy hatches to LUV, as we can see, just to speed things up. I didn't do everything, just a couple of the, the bottlenecks that were slowing this down. 
as we can see there is quite a bottleneck there this is the the main bottleneck but we are we're okay and i also kind of upgraded a few things like i'm just exporting rhodium sulfate directly from the a system and it's being outputted directly into the a system over here kind of thing so just a few little upgrades here and there as i was smelting up all these ultimate batteries because we have finally done it we got eight ultimate batteries which means we can get the ultimate capacitor which basically makes our capacitor unlimited like we'll never have to worry about capping power ever again which is pretty awesome um because i don't know i just don't particularly like that feeling there are a couple things i need to craft up here i should have started that and then started talking about the <laughs> the other thing uh one thing i didn't do though i'm gonna have to adjust this is the the bio mainframes that i crafted up i didn't name them i didn't do the naming thing because uh, going through the recipes, there's no other recipe we're going to use that I need to spread out the the circuits. As you can see, they're all stacked. So I'm like, I'm not going to make recipes that we will never ever use again. Like this does require 16, but they're it's stacked. So uh, this is the only one where these UEV circuits are spread out. So I might have to adjust that a little bit uh, after this stuff gets finished uh the research recipe super super easy Twelve thousand. it only took a few seconds with the the 2000 that we're getting and it's one of these lapatronic capacitors which thankfully it is not like an ultimate battery i was going to be like really sad if we needed an ultimate battery Uh, but that is for the really ultimate battery, which I'm sure we will craft up at some point, and that itself is the extremely ultimate battery. They all hold the same amount of power, it just I'll put a different here. So let me finish that. I don't even remember where that recipe goes. I'm assuming that's the chemical reactor. Which I haven't actually named now that I'm thinking about it. It's in here somewhere. Man, look at all the crafting. Crazy. All the recipes we have made. Oh, I also f mixed, I kind of spread out a few of our, our mixer recipes because there definitely is some clashes. So I split a few of them off. These seem to be getting stuck. So I don't know. There is a list around or a chart that says which ones to put in separate input buses to avoid clashes, but I just kind of threw those in there. All right, let me, uh, I guess, let me craft this up. Or at least get it smelting. Not smelting, but I don't know how long this takes. 200 seconds, yeah. So let me get this up and crafting will come back when we get this crafted up and we will throw it in our capacitor okay if we did everything correct here that should turn on okay it did Ooh, i was a bit nervous that I, I did everything correct and everything went in there yes there we go okay so that's going to take 200 seconds and uh i guess we will Just throw it in here. I guess we could just throw it right there. I don't know if I'm gonna... I may break down the other ones. There's no point to have them. There's also really... No big need. I was gonna break these down and use these eight... The eight uh, energy modules, but... I kind of forgot. Actually, the energy cluster is not. Yeah, I was like, I should use these because you can get the 
you can get the energy cluster back out of it. And I was going to use these for the last ultimate better, but I totally forgot about it. So they, we would have saved on some stuff. Okay, so I'll probably put it right there. Let me finish this. It's going to take, what, another couple minutes, and we'll be right back. Yeah, five seconds left. And done. There we go. We should have unlimited capacity. If I could find it. There it is. Yes, unlimited capacity in our storage bank. So what does this mean now? Let me do this really quick. Uh, actually, this is going to shut off. I can't. I don't think I can replace this without it shutting off. Hopefully, we won't break too many things going on. But it usually is the case that some stuff will get shut off. Actually, I just realized... No! No! Okay, no. I did. <laughs> I was like, wait, do we have the wrong... For a second, I was like, do we have the wrong glass? But no, it looks like it formed. Alright, cool. I got really nervous there for a second. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Tons and tons of power. I don't even really need this anymore. Uh, I really just didn't like when we would cap out power, so that's why I had that there. But, you know what this means? This means it is time to go absolutely crazy with our power gen. And what does that mean? I think it's time to start looking into extra large supercritical steam turbines. I think it is time to push this to its max. So, instead of producing... 273 liters per second worth of steam. We will produce the 1500. That is the max. And I think uh, maybe time to retire our americium plasma. And go for tin plasma. So I think we will get into that next episode. I do love my tower of fusion reactors. I don't know. I get such a kick out of it. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.